Chapter 3 LCM and HCF Priya bought a red cloth and a blue cloth to learn embroidery. One piece is 36 inches wide and the other piece is 24 inches wide. She wants to cut both pieces into strips of equal width that are as wide as possible. How wide should she cut the strips? We can solve this problem using highest common factor because we are cutting or dividing the bigger cloth piece into smaller pieces. These smaller pieces are considered as factors of 36 and 24. Now, since we are looking for the widest possible strips, we will calculate the highest common factor of 36 and 24. Highest common factor of 36 and 24 is 12. We say that Priya should cut each piece to be 12 inches wide. Highest common factor, in short, HCF. The largest or greatest factor common to any two or more given natural numbers is termed as HCF of given numbers. For example, find the HCF of 8 and 12. For this, we will find out the factors of each of these numbers. Factors of 8 are 1, 8, 2 and 4. Factors of 12 are 1, 12, 2, 6, 3 and 4. We can see that 2 and 4 are the common factors. Therefore, the highest common factor is 4. Mohan exercises every 14 days and Neetu exercises every 12 days. They both exercise today. How many days will it be until they exercise together again? This problem can be solved using least common multiple because we are trying to figure out when the sooner or the least time taken by both Mohan and Neetu to exercise together. Also, the event of exercising continues which means multiple number of times. The event will occur at the same time means we have to find the common multiple. The least common multiple of 14 and 12 is 84. So, they will exercise together again in 84 days. Lowest common multiple, in short, LCM. The lowest common multiple or least common multiple is the lowest multiple two numbers have in common. Let us find the common multiples of 20. Multiples of 20 are 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 and so on. Multiples of 30 are 30, 60, 90, 120, 150 and so on. Here we see that 60 and 120 are the common multiples of 20 and 30. But 60 is the least common multiple. Prime factorization We have already learnt about prime factorization in our previous class. Let us do a quick revision on this. The process of expressing a number as a product of prime numbers is called prime factorization. For example, the number 24 can be factorized using factor tree method. 24 is equal to 2 into 12. 12 can further be factorized as 2 into 6. And 6 gets further factorized into 2 into 3. Therefore, the factors of 24 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 3, which are all prime numbers. We shall use this method to find the HCF of given numbers. 
finding HCF using prime factorization method. Let us find highest common factor of 14 and 18 by using prime factorization method. Let us write the prime factors of 14 which is equal to 2 and 7. The prime factors of 18 are 2, 3 and 3. We can clearly see here that the prime number 2 is the only common factor. Therefore, the highest factor common of 14 and 18 is 2. Let us take another example. Find the HCF of 60 and 150 using prime factorization method. Let us write the prime factors of 60 which is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. The prime factors of 150 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 into 5. We can see that the common prime factors are 2, 3 and 5. The highest common factor is the product of the common prime factors. Therefore, the HCF of 60 and 150 is 2 into 3 into 5, which is equal to 30. Example 1. What is the HCF and LCM of 18 and 42? Let us find HCF first. Factors of 18 are 3 into 6. Factorizing 6 as 2 into 3. Factors of 18 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. Factors of 42 are 6 into 7. Factorizing 6 as 2 into 3. Factors of 42 is equal to 2 into 3 into 7. So, the factors that are common to both the numbers are 2 and 3. Hence, the HCF of 18 and 42 is 2 into 3, which is equal to 6. Let us find the LCM now. Multiples of 18 are 18, 36, 54, 72, 90, 108, 126 and so on. Multiples of 42 are 42, 84, 126, 168 and so on. We can clearly see that 126 is the least common multiple of the numbers 18 and 42. Example 2 Let us now find the HCF and LCM of the numbers 36 and 48 using prime factorization method. Let us find the HCF. Step 1 we start by writing each number as a product of its prime factors. 36 is equal to 2 times, 2 times, 3 times, 3. 48 is equal to 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 2 times, 3. Step 2. We align the prime factors such that each new prime factor begins at the same place as shown here. Step 3. Now we find the HCF by multiplying all the factors that appear in both the list. The common factor that has appeared here are 2 times 2 times 3, which is equal to 12. Thus, HCF of 36 and 48 is equal to 12. Now, let us find the LCM of 36 and 48. This is done by multiplying all the prime factors which appear in either list. The factors of 36 are 2 times, 
2 times 3 times 3 and the factors of 48 are 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 so the lcm is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 which is equal to 144 remember HCF is the product of all prime factors which are common in both the given numbers. LCM is the product of all the prime factors appearing in both the list. Relationship of LCM and HCF We will learn the relationship between HCF and LCM of two numbers. Let us consider the two given numbers as 15 and 18. First, we need to find the highest common factor of 15 and 18. Prime factors of 15 is equal to 3 into 5. Prime factors of 18 is equal to 3 into 6 is equal to 2 into 3 into 3. Common factor is 3. Hence, HCF is 3. HCF into LCM is equal to 3 into 90 is equal to 270. Also, 15 into 18 is equal to 270. Therefore, product of HCF and LCM of 15 and 18 is equal to product of 15 and 18. So, from the above explanation, we conclude that the product of highest common factor, HCF, and lowest common multiple, LCM of two numbers is equal to the product of two numbers. Let us solve one example. Example Find the LCM and HCF of 48 and 420 and verify the relationship. HCF of 48 and 420 Factors of 48 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Factors of 420 is equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. Common factors are 2 into 2 into 3. Therefore, HCF is 12. For LCM, the product of all prime factors appearing in both the list is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 is equal to 1680. We know that HCF into LCM is equal to product of two given numbers. 12 into 1680 is equal to 48 into 420. 20160 is equal to 20160. Hence, verified. Situations where we find HCF to get the solution are 1. Splitting things into smaller sections 2. Equally distribute items into their largest grouping 3. Arrange something in rows or groups Situations where we find LCM to get the solution are 1. When an event gets repeated again and again. 2. Where there is a need to purchase or get multiple items in order to have enough. 3. When we have to figure out when something will happen again at the same time. In every day, we come across many situations where we need to use our knowledge of HCF and LCM to find the solution. Let us see some situations where we use HCF and LCM in real life. An art teacher has 120 crayons and 30 pieces of paper to give to her students. What is the largest number of students she can have in her class so that each student gets equal number of crayons and equal number of paper? We are going to divide the crayons and the paper. We will use HCF 
to find the number of students who will get both crayons and paper equally. So, let us find the HCF of 120 and 30. Factors of 120 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Factors of 30 is equal to 2 into 3 into 5. HCF is equal to 2 into 3 into 5 is equal to 30. So, 30 kids will get equal amount of crayons and sheet of paper. A shopping mall gave every 100th buyer rupees 1000 as gift and every 40th buyer a movie ticket. How many people will go through before one person who gets both the money and movie ticket as gift? We are going to figure out the least time when both the events will occur for the same person. Hence, we will use LCM for the above problem. Multiples of 100 is equal to 100, 200, 300, 400 and so on. Multiples of 40 is equal to 40, 80, 120, 160, 200 and so on. LCM for 100 and 40 is 200. So we can say that the 200th person shopping in the mall will get both rupees 1000 and a movie ticket as gift. Let us do a quick recap of all the important points that we have learnt so far in this chapter. The process of expressing a number as a product of prime numbers is called prime factorization. Factor tree is a method of obtaining the prime factors of a given number. HCF of two or three numbers is the greatest common factor of the numbers. LCM of two or three numbers is the smallest or the first common multiple of the numbers. HCF and LCM of two numbers satisfy the following relationship. LCM into HCF is equal to the product of the numbers. 